Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just bear with me a second while I get my laptop up and running here next to me. Oh, it's a little rush this morning. I'm still not quite organised. I've been answering emails and picking orders. Just bear with me a second while I make sure my camera's set up properly. Hope you're all having a fabulous morning. Right, open sesame. Oh, there's, there's a few of you there watching already. Good morning, Annalise. Oh, I can hear myself. Shit, hang on. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just going to adjust my camera just a fraction. Look away if you get seasick, it's going to get a bit of a wobble. And I've got my, my natural light coming in here from the window. It is beautiful outside. Yep, that'll do. I'm a shark. We can, everybody can see me. All, get all okay. <sighs> all right. So how are we all? We all doing good? I'm going to, um, I'm going to get a little festive today. I am going to make one of these awesome little reindeer. Actually, I might make a couple. This is one that I did in the live Facebook last year, and I'm going to make something similar again. Let me bring this up to camera to show you. So you'll actually be able to go back through my um, YouTubes and scroll back through my live Facebooks to show you how to, and you know, you'll see the live on how I made this little guy last year. He's going to be different this year. Oh, he's got a bit of a fluff, bit of fluff on his bum. Okay, so first and foremost, welcome to day three of the Great International Craft Show. Today we are, have fifteen percent off of Scrap Effects products uh, and chipboard, so that gives you a huge range of products um, that you can you can look at today. So. Um, you'll find those on nataliemay.com.au um, and don't forget to join the uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community on Facebook. There's a little private group that we've got going on. So what I thought I would do today is to show you how these things here work. These are, <coughs> oh, excuse me, these are the Scrap Effects Reindeer. Uh, and these are fantastic little Christmas decorations. Sorry if I get... Hang on, let me just check this internet coverage thingy out again. You'd think I'd get the hang of this. Oh, stiff shit. Let's leave it like that. All right, so these are fantastic little um, ornaments, and these are super little, super inexpensive as well, because... And this is something that you can do with the kids if you are that way inclined. <laughs> Um, so let me give you a bit of an idea on how much these are. So this is the 3D reindeer, and this one makes one this size here. This is the one that I've used previously, and that is six dollars eighty, but uh, reduced down to seven. Oh, sorry, five dollars seventy eight for today. Then this is the large reindeer. This one is ten dollars, but reduced down to eight dollars fifty. $8.58 or something like that and that's a big one then this one here is the medium the medium is $7.80 reduced down to $6.63 and the little baby one here $5.90 reduced down to $5 at 15% off so I thought I would do a couple today in a couple of different styles to show you the the, the best way of um well one one way of, of decorating them but let's be honest you could do you could decorate them in any way you like. I'm going to be a bit arty. Um, when I did this one last year, I used gold flakes, as you can see. Um, I don't have any gold flakes in stock at the moment. I don't even have any here at the studio because they are all at home still. So I'm not going to show you that, but that one is really easy to do. And I will have a bit of a whirl, make another one this morning. Right. So I thought I might use the large one. I'll start with that. And I'm going to do this one in a super bright. So I'm going to use the Splotchy Rainbows um, paper. 
rice paper, tissue paper. And this is what the collage papers, the tissue papers look like. They're so easy to use. Um, so I'm going to stick this on. But before I do that, I'm going to use my get my gel medium out. So gel medium is my adhesive of choice. Um, and I'm going to pop some. Actually, I'm just going to tear it off. And I'm going to tear and collage a few of these onto my reindeer. I don't want it to be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna use a paintbrush just to get my gel medium on like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just polish it out with my fingers so that it is not super thick. Um, and I'm just gonna do the whole back of him so that I can get it on there. And what's gonna happen is when it's dry, I'm going to tear around the edges. So I'm just gonna lightly cover him in a few of these little bits. I might pop some blue on the other side. Um, and you could paint these, I'll, I'll paint one as well. While this is drying, I'll do another one with, oh, those those inks that I used yesterday. Some of those Catherine Paula inks, maybe. Hey, Jessica, do we have any left on the shelf at all? Of what, sorry? The Catherine Paula inks. Uh, currently, yes, but maybe not once I stop picking. Okay. Can you just have a look online and see if we've got any left? So I'm going to cut around this when it's dry. So for the time being, I'm just collaging it onto the background like so. And this is just going to be a, a bit of a rainbow reindeer. And um, so this is something that you can do yourself. You could decorate this to suit your personal decor. And as you can see, I'm just, where it overlaps, I'm just making sure that those edges are stuck down really good. Okay, so we have two Van Gogh and, two, uh, and three Urban Elastic. All right, so there's still some left. So Louise has got the day off today and I have got Miss Jessica in here helping me out, picking your orders and packing and I'm going to go this side now. So I'm just being super lazy and using my finger. Yep, she gets to put up with me for the day. Yep, I get to put up with Jess for the day. More importantly, Jess has to put up with me for the day. I don't know what's worse. I think it's about even. It's about even. Good point. All right, so I'm going to pop that on there. And that's stuck down really well. So gel medium is is like glue. I mean, you could use any adhesive as long as it um, is going to dry, be a little bit quick drying. You don't want it to take forever to dry. I've missed his nose. Hang on. There we go. And in a minute, once that's dry, I'll be able to go around and, and peel all of those bits off, those excess edges off. And I'm going to, I mean, it's it's a little bit bright, but I'm going to tone it back with some white. So I'll pop that aside here. I might do his legs very quickly. And, and his bottom. I might only just do one side of his legs. I'll be a bit cheeky. like that so chipboard is awesome so you can do anything with chipboard so you can um, you can paint it you can um, spray it you can cover it like I am with like collaging you can uh, what else can you do you can use Lindy's magicals on it which I might do I'll do in the next live Facebook um, I think it's a baby wipe sort of day and um, the, yeah, so there's plenty of things that you can do with chipboard. It's a really easy thing to work with and it's quite porous. So you do need to be aware that it can soak in liquid. All right, so I'm just going to pop those aside to dry. 
and I'm going to do one now. I might do a smaller one and I'm going to use this old script collage paper. And this time I'll do the medium, the medium reindeer. Now, I have not forgotten either that there is a, a lucky prize draw from yesterday. So for those of you who uh, placed an order yesterday, there will be one winner of one winner of a, a lucky prize where we'll pop a little something into your order. So I will get Jessica in a moment when she's fi finished picking to go and pick an order and yesterday actually jessica you did say there was one lucky number we just have to check that it was yesterday's order I'll check whether it was yesterday. or if it was today this morning's order because you guys have been shopping up a storm holy moly right. it was so that's gonna yesterday it was yesterday so it's order number nine thousand nine thousand lucky order number nine thousand and that order belongs to Karen Snape. So we will add a little something into your your order. All right, Karen, because you we're very grateful for your business. So thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Jessica, can you write that down on a bit of paper? Or actually just pull out Karen's order and pop a note on her paperwork, please. That would be wonderful. So um, the the prize will be, yeah, something that will add into your order. And that might be some artwork. It might be a reindeer. It might be, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, but we will work that out. Could you use leftover scrapbooking paper or is it too thick? Sharon is asking. Oh my goodness, you could definitely use leftover scrapbooking paper that is a great idea i don't have any handy or i would do that um but that is a fantastic idea you can stick anything onto these these are excellent it's completely up to you on what you do right so i'm going to pop that aside so i've just covered it top and bottom and just give it a couple of minutes for the the oh, glue to to set maybe i should do the legs Oh, no, I won't do the legs. I'll do the body in something different. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, this one is almost dry, is I'm going to tear off this excess. Oh, the birds are noisy this morning. Um, tear off this excess paper just with my fingers and I'm just giving it, because it's tissue paper, it moves really, really easily. Um and um, because I'm going to add white over the top as well, I'm not too fussed if it's not perfect. Uh, where is my... Hey, Jess. Yeah? Could you find me a... You might have to have a look in my trolley, um, a nail file. Ooh, please. Yeah, but if you've got scrapbooking paper left, um, Shirley, like, uh, sorry, Shirley, Sharon, you could definitely, definitely use that. It's not going to be too thick at all. You could just use anything. It would be excellent for using up your scraps, actually. I'm sure there's a nail file in there. Or actually, it might be in the trolley here underneath my laptop, babe. I know I saw one somewhere. Not enough glue there. Underneath. No, 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 no. No, next tray down. Just a bit there. There's definitely one there. It's a matter of finding it. Yeah, just make it happen. Just make it happen. All right. Then these ones will do the same thing. Bingo. Fabulous. Thank you. Got a nail file. And I'll show you what the nail file is for in a minute. That is the what we do. Is use a nail file, and it will actually tear it off nice and easy. Okay. And this, this works with if you had scrapbook paper as well. So don't throw your old nail files out. Now, I am 
I've made the big mistake here of leaving gel medium on my paintbrush. Pop that into water straight away or it's going to uh, go like concrete. See how quick and easy that is? So I'm just doing it on an angle, ever so slight, and it's quick and it's easy and it just works an absolute treat. Not enough glue. You could use a glue stick to stick this down, but if you're working with kids, you could use a glue stick, but um, a glue stick is not a long-term adhesive. If you wanna pull these little reindeer out every year to have on display for your Christmas things, then uh, you'll definitely need to use something better than a glue stick, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly do the body of my reindeer just to take off the fluffy bits, polish his bottom a little. And it gets rid of all of those little fluffies. So scrap effects, like I was saying this morning in my live Facebook, scrap effects products are from Australia. They are Australian made and that is important to us at the moment as we are supporting our community and not buying from overseas and buying from small businesses and not buying from those big companies who bring everything in cheap, not saying anything else about Spotlight or anything, but you know, let's be honest, they're going to put the rest of us out of business. Um, so yeah, supporting the little companies is is really important so scrap effects are and dusty attic is the other company that i have in that um that i absolutely love little australian companies or they've now become big australian companies um and they are fantastic so i have actually covered up the little leg spots so i'm just going to use my blade no my nail file doesn't fit in there just to expose those leg holes And same here. See, they've covered up quite nicely. Right, done. So then that is gonna go up into there and that will go up into there, but I wanna add a little bit of paint to it first. Yeah, thank you, Susan. You've, you've you hit the nail on the head there. Um, look, I, I, every, those big companies have certainly got their places. Um, I mean, they're, they're great. And, um, you know, there's, you know, those, those big craft retailers are, you know, they're also businesses that need to keep going as well. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do much prefer to support the local, the local companies, the local businesses such as myself and other um, online craft supply shops, and I'm going to sneeze. No, it's gone. Um, so I think that that's, that's fantastic that, um, that you are supporting businesses like myself and the other small scrapbooking um, and online craft supply shops. We do work hard. Um, we, it's really difficult to, to compete with those big companies, uh, especially, you know, Spotlight, for example. I can't match their prices when they have their, you know, 40% off or their $40 coupons or whatever it is. Um, it, it, it just does us out of business. So I make a point of trying to not stock the same products that they have. But um, there is nothing more annoying than, than, you know, of course, someone coming to me and saying, well, you know, I can buy that cheaper at Spotlight. Well, great. Off you go. Thanks for that. Fantastic. I'm not going to be offended if you go there. Um, but I'm going to look after you with customer service if you purchase from me. So I guess that's where that's where the difference lies, um, is, is customer service. So I've got fluffy bits absolutely everywhere. So, and customer service is really, really important to me. I make a point of getting back to all of my customers, hopefully, hopefully, with emails. I make a point of um, replying to messages in a timely fashion. We make a point of doing these things because 
that's what makes you come back again. And if, if you're not getting that customer service, then I don't think that you should be supporting those business. Um, so, you know, this is my business. I don't have a backup plan. This is all I'm going to be doing. So um, I think that it's, it's really important. You know, I don't have a, um, yeah, like I said, I don't have a, a day job to go to. This is my day job. Um, so we do certainly appreciate Um, your support and your, you know, you're spending your hard-earned dollars here. I'm just going to add a little bit to the back of that one, as you can see. I'm just going to pop that aside, and I'll do the same thing with the other one. So, um, <laughs> and f look, Spotlight, don't do fun lives. Spotlight, you'll be lucky to get any customer service or find anything that you need in the store, let's be honest. So, um, I do get very, very frustrated when people do come to me and say, but I can get that cheaper at Spotlight. And that's that's your choice. That's fantastic. Um, but yeah, support the, support the businesses that are looking after you. Um, I think that that's super important. Um, we had the problem a little, you know, American Crafts supply to Spotlight here in Australia. Um, they've obviously got a fantastic deal, which is great for them. But yeah, we don't have... Um, <laughs> You know, we just can't compete compete with those prices. And if you can get it at Spotlight, then that's great. That's that's it is. You know, the big machines we get get you to get at Spotlight, like your big shop and all that sort of stuff. But look, it is what it is. All right. So I have just added just a little bit of paper to the legs of this one, and what I'm going to be doing next is adding the painty bit, and I'm going to add some colour to it now i'm also going to i've got another one here that i want to do to show you that you can do it without collage paper and i'm just going to do one with paint and inks okay so give you a give you a little bit of variety and showing you how it can be done using different products oops a little rough on that one because the glue wasn't dry. Yeah, look, I, I agree. It's, it's very, very frustrating. So, um, and yeah, you certainly won't get me at Spotlight doing these lives. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Let's move past that. Let's talk about other stuff um let's so that's just drying i've just got those off to the side here i'm just wanting to make sure that they are going to be totally dry before i add the next bits and i'll just quickly show you one with some painting and some stamping so oh i don't want to do that one because i've already done him so i'll do the the smallest one in this set of three and you know what this time i'm going to Hey Jess, can you come and open a window please? I am sweating up a storm in here this morning. Goodness me, it's a bit warm. Just that window over there, please. Um, okay, so this time I'm just gonna put my ink straight onto my reindeer. I'm just gonna go straight on. What color, what color, what color party dress? Oh, love it. They're so pigmented. That's what I love about them. Look at that. So we've got that one at the bottom. And I might do... And besides, oh, Spotlight doesn't have Nat Lloyd and Jess. Yeah, so love I'm just it. reading the comments from Kerry. Jessica's just reading the Kerry Ann comments there. Thank you, Kerry Ann. So I'm just lightly blending that with my finger. Because these Catherine Paula inks are super juicy. Can you see that going on there? So this one's a bit darker. And I'm going to stamp over the top of him as well. But I'm going to stamp the body. 
So while it's wet, I'm just smudging so I don't have that line. So you, whoops. God, look how juicy that is. Right, put the lid on that before I drop it again. They are so good. Right, so that's those. Let's just use a baby wipe so that I don't make that a hot mess. So I, I did use these in uh, live Facebook yesterday, which you'll be able to go back and watch. These ink pads are great. Super duper, full of pigment, super bright. So let's do the top in something a little lighter. I'm going to go with orange. And I'm going to two-tone him. It's, suddenly it's a him. So there's that one. And then down the bottom, I might use Trudy Fruity. Need to find a clean fingertip. When I first ordered these in last year, I, um, I, I kind of went, oh my God, what have I done? What have I ordered in? But as soon as I started creating and putting them together, they, they are so super cute. So did everyone have a nice night last night? Did anybody do anything exciting and wonderful last night? Or did you do like I did and fell asleep on the lounge in front of the TV? I was absolutely shattered yesterday. You were gone. I was absolutely exhausted when I got home. Um, I'm going to give him some Aquatini antlers. So you can you can colour these with ink pads as well. You watch the rugby. Yeah, um Jess and Trevor accidentally put the rugby on. Of course, being in Australia uh, being in South Australia, we're not rugby people. Rugby isn't um, something that we use uh, that we we have a lot of here. Um, I'm gonna stamp over the top of these now. So I've just pulled out a few little I've got some paper artsy mini stamps in here. I've got some dots. Actually, they're a bit, you know. And I pulled out a heap of random little ones. Oh, these are the stamps that came in um, the Art by Marlene. Where's my little ink block? Uh, my Art by Marlene, last year she did an advent calendar. And these are the little stamps that came in it last year. So I might use those. They're super cute. And since I don't have a acrylic block handy, I'll just use my finger because, you know, that's a thing. Um, the Art by Marlene Advent Calendar is still up for pre-order. I do believe we have a couple left. Um, I'm not sure on how much it's going to be yet because it hasn't landed in Australia. Okay, so I... I'm not 100% sure, but it will probably possibly be around the $90 mark, but it is full of stamps and dies and all sorts of lovely things. We have, we have two left, Jessica's just told me. So there's a, a prepayment for it of $50 um, that you pay in advance. See how cool that is? Um, that you, you pay in advance to secure your secure your um here we go I might use that one to secure your um okay. advent calendar and then as soon as it is it's in we will give you a, a a message you and say right it's here 
this is how much it's going to be and we go there use the top of your ink pad now yeah i usually do that but i'm too lazy and i'm kind of seeing where i'm trying to see where i'm going here so this one i'm just giving him something over a little bit of stamping over the lighter colors can you see how that's come up there quickly do that one So there's a couple of more live Facebooks today. I've got another one at 1.30 and then there'll be one at about 3.30, uh, a little bit earlier than uh, normally we would do because uh, we're going out tonight. We have a, a, a 60th birthday party to go to um, and can't wait for that. Looking forward to letting my hair down and um, Hopefully not getting too messy because, you know, that's a thing. Let's pop him together. I'm not going to add anything else to him. Pop that in there. And this is actually drying up a little bit lighter. Of course, because ink is wet, as it is drying and soaking up, soaking into the chipboard, it's working a treat. So there we go. I'm going to pop him aside. And I'll come back and show you a close-up of him when I'm finished. Right, let's get this out of the way before I stick my hand in it. And we will work on these other ones. So let's have a look at our, our rainbow one, our rainbow reindeer. And I'm going to add... Actually, I do need that tear-off palette, but I'm just going to... So these tear-off palettes are fantastic. I can I can clean that up. I can wipe off that excess ink. I can tear it up so I've got a, you know, when you can't find a clean spot on your desk, this is what happens. You do that. I'm going to use some white paint. This is just a Dilutions white paint. And I'm just going to use my finger to soften that up in a few little spots. I could stencil over the top. <laughs> um, I could stencil over the top, I could do lots of different things, but I just want to keep it nice and simple. Uh, and add a few little bits and pieces, like so. And I can tone it back as well. So um, now I am doing this quite quick. I will file off these edges a little bit nicer, clean those up a bit more, but because I'm, you know, overachieving here and doing three, three reindeer in a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments while I'm doing this about the rest of you being in lockdown. Um, yes, I know, and I'm sorry. I was I was a bit rude then in saying that we were going out tonight. I should have been a little bit more sympathetic. Um, and I'm not gonna do that side. I should have been a little bit more sympathetic when I said that. Um, I do apologize, ladies. Um, I know you girls are doing it tough in your, in your local areas, so. All right, I'm going to add some stamping to this. I've just got a random stamp, which I have had here for quite some time. It's just little crosses. I've been collecting stamps since I could walk, I swear. I've got all sorts of different background stamps, and I'm just adding some little crosses to him. Um, so, yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know what, to be honest, we don't go out anywhere either. I'm just looking forward to going out tonight in public and, um, you know, popping a bit of lippy on and, oh, heaven forbid, I might even drag out some heels. I'm doing it. You're wear heels tonight, Jess. Yeah. You're going to wear a dress? Uh, I'll wear that jump, the green jumpsuit. Which one? The long sleeve one or no, the short sleeve one? Short well, the long, yeah, the long sleeve one is a little small and your boobs are a little big. <laughs> um, the entire Facebook now knows that. Oh, honey, they're just boobs. Every, almost everybody's got them. Okay. 
So there's a little bit on there of shine. Something else to, to make it look a little bit prettier and not so not so um, grungy and make it a little bit more Christmassy is the addition of gold paint. So I could just do a little, oh, that's made a big difference. Let's make his tail. Can you see that shine? Oh, then I go and stick my thumb in the white. So this is, this is me going out. My hands always look like this. So it's gonna be no surprise tonight to go out and be covered in paint and whatnot. Um, yes, yeah, so tomorrow morning's 9am live Facebook um, is not guaranteed. <laughs> um, I was going to put on the schedule that I was going to come and do a, a live good morning walk around. But that depends on uh, numerous things. Like Louise showing up to work on time because she's also out with me tonight. Uh, and, and how much uh, I enjoy going out tonight. In other words, how much of a hangover we have got tonight. See, oh, that's so pretty. That made a huge difference with that gold on it. Love me a gold paint. I've got some Paper Artsy gold paint on the way in. Um, Paper Artsy delivery I was hoping was going to be here by this weekend. But alas, that was not the case. So we are going to, uh, we're going to have to wait for that one to come in. Um, and there is a, a big shipment of stuff from all and create on the way in as well all of their new arrivals but that probably won't be for another couple of weeks so i mean look put it this way if you're doing these and you've got a house that is a a shabby chic sort of um you know your your christmas decorations are all aqua based then naturally your I've just committed to the gold antlers. Um, then naturally, you can you can do these in any colour you like. I'm going to go in with a really thick gold antler here. Mm. I could heat emboss these with embossing powder, um, which would have looked gorgeous. Mm. I quite uh, like lockdown. I don't socialise or go out anywhere. Oh, look. And it's, <laughs> isn't it funny? A lot of us are now becoming, though, that person who doesn't necessarily love people anymore we quite liked it didn't we we were okay with it jess i mean i love i love don't get me wrong i love people but but i'm i'm kind of i guess like everybody else you kind of get used to your own company i still like my husband so i don't mind spending time with him um i love hanging out with jessica and, and louise and max jess's partner um you know, we are, we love to socialise within our own group. And when we did have lockdown here in South Australia, I don't know, what was that, a couple of months ago now? We, uh, we were lucky enough that we, because we were classed here in South Australia as an essential business, um, because we are an online store and it is a hobby that is, you know, you guys need it for your mental health. Therefore, craft um, a craft online business was classified as an essential business. How cool is that? Um, okay, so my paint's a little thick. But that's okay. I'm just going to pop that, I don't know, there. Oh, no, I dropped it. Stand up. Okay, so, um, yeah. So I do love that here in South Australia, crafting is, you know, an essential business. All right, let's have a look here at this guy. So this one here, I might add a little bit of colour to him to match my other ones so that when I've got them lined up as a set of three, uh, we've, got, we've got a little bit of um, colour. So let's go pink. Yeah, I know, and that's the downside. So Susan's just commented that, of course, you know, she's, She's not able to see her, um, her, her parents and people who are, um, you know, in a, in a home. And that is, is the sucky bit. Um, but you know what? It's just the new way that we, we are, unfortunately. It's the way that... 
it's the way that it is at the moment. Um, it's, it's our new normal and it sucks. So I'm not fussed that this is all random because when I swipe it over, it's all about layers, layering up. So when I swipe it over in a moment with some white paint, it's gonna, it's gonna look fine. It's gonna be great. And I will be adding some gold to this to get it to match. So when I put it up with my original one that I did, that one's got lots of gold in it. It's gonna look good. The only thing I haven't done is the back of the other ones really did need a bit more, needed some collage paper. But I was too lazy to do that. Right, let's have a look at the body of this one. It does need filing a little bit more. It's a little fluffy and I need to punch holes. So we just need to punch the holes on where the bits go. The only catch would be is if you're doing this with a thicker scrapbook paper, you just need to be aware you don't want to make it too thick or you're not going to get the um, slots to fit. So I'm just now going to give him a little pink smudge. He's got a pink bum. Can you imagine how much fun it would be to do these with, shit, with kids? I think so. So for those of you just joining in, I'm making Christmas reindeer using the Scrap Effects chipboard reindeer. The cool thing by using my finger here means I'm polishing the paint on as well and it's not going on super thick, which means it's drying a lot quicker. Uh, and I wanna grab another color to go in because I want him to kind of match this one. So I could either go with, might pop a little blue Not too much. And then it will get some a little bit of white treatment as well. Just a little. It's a contrast. A bit splotchy. Very arty farty. Yeah, these would make a nice little gift, wouldn't they? And like I said, you could um, you, you just color color them to be whatever whatever color you like to suit your decor. So I'm not putting too much on. It's you know the less is best option can work quite well. And when I go over again in a moment with the white and the gold I could add diamantes to him I could glitter him no I couldn't let's be honest nobody needs to see me play with glitter but I'm gonna play with glitter paper today what do you reckon I'm not gonna play with glitter Jess don't stress all right, I've lost his antlers. Antlers, they can be, since I've got this color on my finger. You should see the state of my desk here. It's a flaming nightmare. A paintbrush would have been great. Uh, is there a dust bunny range to match? Yeah, to match the, I'm just reading comments as I go here. You're funny, Michelle. But what I do have in a moment is I'm gonna show you how to get all of the dust off my desk using my new Nuvo brushy thing. Clean finger. Just tapping that up. See, 
seems I totally missed an antler. Gosh, it's going everywhere. All right. I'm going to put that aside to dry and wipe my hands off before I add some white and some gold to that one um, because I have got paint coming out of my ears here. It's ridiculous. Um, all right. Let me just, sorry, a message has just come up that I need to get off my screen because I can't see your comments and I can only see Michelle's, but yes. Um, okay, so here we go. So uh, it's all about creating the layers and building layers with paint. So keeping it all into interconnected, making sure that everything looks very similar. I'm going to be adding some white. If I can get it out of the container. And it's not covering it up at all because when you wipe it on, it, it tones it back and wipes it off a little. Or tones, not doesn't wipe it off. It tones it back, tones it down. So where you kind of go, oh my God, that's so bright. That's okay. That's toning it back. So then it becomes a shade of the colour that you put on underneath. Um, may as well do the gold while I'm at it. So yes, for the traditional Christmas people, you could definitely do this in um, other, other lovely colours such as greens. Or you could be a traditionalist and go for a brown reindeer. But we're going with the rainbow reindeers. Because I do love me some colour and I could stencil on his body but I do like just this light little swipe of, of paint it's quite therapeutic So you will find these in the Christmas things and these are 15% off all weekend because Christmas things are 15% off and you will also find them under scrap effects as well. Happy with that. Let's get some on the legs. Bit of white first, tone some of this back, fill some gaps. There you go. So thank you. Oh, so Carrie Ann's just jumped on here and to order some reindeer. So what I want to see from you guys, if you are all ordering reindeer, because like they're super easy to use, let's share some photos of the reindeer, reindeer, reindeer? reindeer in the Natalie May creative community. I want to see all of the different variations of your reindeer. Not just doing it the way that I've done it, but, you know, you could heat emboss him. You could stamp on him and add him. You could stamp on them and you could create some amazing mixed media reindeer. I would love to see that. Let's lift each other up by sharing our creative works. Okay, let's do that. I, I can't think of anything better than, than, you know, seeing what you create with the products that you buy from... Um, nataliemay.com so I think it's super important that we share that around um, I, I really really love that so if you purchase one of these reindeers let's do that let's share that I'll post my photos up there today when I finish these super rough but it works okay Clean my hands. We're going to put them together and finish them off. That would be great, Kerry Ann. So, yeah, I can't wait to see. And the baubles. The baubles are just beautiful. Putting the baubles together 
um, putting the baubles together as well. So you can do exactly the same thing with the baubles. Um, and you could use something like the, the Lindy's with baubles. You could do, oh, crikey, you could do so much. All right, let's have a look here. This one is actually dried up a little lighter. I might give him a touch of gold off camera, um, but I, I really love this little guy. He's looking nice and bright. Uh, then this one here, so we need to... Uh, shh, 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 this one here so he's going to go into there so you do need to give it a little love because I've got that thickness of the paper in here now is it all in is it in there all the way yes so I'm actually going to paint the back of those off camera where's my other leg here And the slots just go in quite nicely. He's got long legs. And I forgot to cut a hole for his antler. And he's got massive, big gold antlers. So, yes, I have done this a little bit rough um, on camera. I do need to tidy up the edges around here with some paint. And I will do that. Just not right now. So, there he is. He's big. Whoa, look at him. Yeah, the swear jar's been copping a hammering. Sorry. So that looks great. Right, done. And then this one here. Let's get his legs on. His legs are a little furry. I could have finished those off better. But I'm watching the time. Actually, I like that side better. I didn't even stamp that one. I was going to put some scripty wordy stamp over it, but I don't think it needs it. And that actually needs a bit of gold. And that's the other thing I've got to do today is make a 60th Christmas birthday card. I forgot about that. All right. These are looking pretty majestic, I have to say. A little rough because I've done it in a hurry. I do need to finish them off. But we have got one, two, three, four. And yeah, I know they don't show up on camera, so I'll do a little, uh, I'll take a, a, a photograph and show you. Rightio, so just to recap what we have done, we have been using the Scrap FX Reindeer. This is one that I did last year, so you can see the same process. I've got the, the paper in the background, the, um, the script paper in the background. This one had a little bit of mineral paint and gold paint, and then I added gold foil. I used some additional chipboard to make his antlers and some baubles off my Christmas tree um, on his ears. So we did that one last year. So if you have some gold glittery sort of flakes, you could add those on quite nicely. I think that looks great. Okay, so then I have done this one here. I'm going to stand up so I make sure I get it in the shot. So this one here I have coloured with ink ink pads straight to the chipboard and then stamped over the top so that one looks pretty cool and i'm going to be adding a little bit of gold to that off of off camera just so that i can show you just so that he, he fits in with the rest okay because i'm looking at it now going yeah i love it but i it, it needs a bit more so that's the small one then this is the medium reindeer so this one has got that gold shimmer paint or just gold metallic paint on it and I used the word collage paper and two colors of paint and white and then his antlers have got gold paint on it as well and like I said I will tidy these up off camera and I have done it quite quickly but you get the gist of it 
And then we've got the big boy. Now, this big guy, I have completely coated, covered him uh, in the collage paper, a different bright rainbow collage paper this time, and popped a little stamp over the top, but also added some gold and some white paint just to tone it back. He's brighter on that side. And I could stamp over that. I could do all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, and I just still have to do the back of his um, legs yet. So I'll do that off camera. But if you've got things, you know, in your stash like um, like some, some sequins. I've got sequins here. I've got some, some Kaisercraft baubles. I'm sure everyone has a drawer full of random stuff like this. I've got, I've just pulled them all out, got, well, pulled out just like a tenth of what I've got. That, you know, things that you could make them look amazing. I've got, um, I don't know, some packets of spellbinders, gems. I could pop a little saddle on him. Oh, crikey, look at these. I reckon these are Prima from 1982, but I just can't part with them. Um, you know, if you've got some chipboard, I've got a big stash of old chipboard of lots of different companies. I could add some wings like you know he's now become a a winged with a couple of feathers okay could could just pop glue those on and, and he would look amazing um what else have i pulled out of my stash here i know so now just be aware that the stuff i'm going to show you now is stuff out of my private stash and not necessarily available online I've got this chipboard here. I could run that up behind his, his antler. You know, like that, to give it a little bit of, you know, ink them and or give him some wings or something. I've got those. Um, so building on it can be totally completely up to you i've got some here that someone in poland sent me you know these little branchy things um, might look good coming out the top of his antlers as well so there's so many cool things that you could build onto it have a look through your stash at home and go i wonder what would happen if i got a piece of wire and tied a die cut of a daffodil to it or something like that all right um or yeah like the little feathers on here would be amazing that's bloody awesome if I had a foiling machine I could foil him okay there's so many cool things um so there you go that's it from me so I'm going to finish these off really quickly then I'm going to take some photos and upload them to um the Facebook page with the links of to, you know to what I've used um so if you give me 10 minutes and I'll get that done but if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au you will get 15% off today for all chipboard plus all scrap effects products which are these guys here so we will uh, for today only now the no judgment postage is still in effect so what that means is that you will get uh, $12.50 for your first order then any additional orders after that are only four cents um, postage is not free we still have to pay for postage and so do you. So, um, yeah. Oh, you could hang miniature baubles from his antlers. Oh, that's a good idea. Go find some baby baubles. I All right. we did that last time. Yeah, no, this is what I did last time. I popped, I wrapped them on his. I think when we put it up in the house, we ended up. Oh, we tied it up. Some. Yeah. All right, so there we go, guys. I hope you are all having a wonderful morning. I will see you back here at 1.30 Adelaide time, and I'm going to do some Christmas baubles. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Stay safe. Kiss your kids. Wash your hands. Do all the good things. Chat soon.